for the people who want to break into the business, all this doom and gloom really shouldn't impact you at all unless you want to be a publishing professional rather than a writer. The doom and gloom is for the publishing companies themselves because their sales are shrinking, at least their sales of hardcover books. And their value is shrinking because long ago they gave up what was the original value which was in the editorial process. Publishers really edited books and added a lot of value. So they gave that up and it turned it over. You have agents and packagers who in many cases are doing the editing or freelancers are doing the editing for the publishers and this isn't across the board but you know as a generalization the second thing that the publisher was bringing was distribution well that's kind of disappeared too because as borders has just you know declared bankruptcy and as barnes and noble is facing you know greater margin difficulty um, I, i've actually been told that barnes and noble is now making more profit from non-books than books even in their own stores, you know, through coffee and merchandise and other products. So you're, you're looking at an environment where for the book publisher, selling the physical book, whether paperback or hardcover, is actually more difficult. And sales in the last five years have actually dropped. How many industries have sales dropped? Now, total sales have increased because of eBooks, but the margins for the book publishers with the eBooks, though you hear a lot of people saying, you know, they have no costs. Well, they had some costs, but more importantly, the pricing structure with the ebooks is such, and particularly as the Authors Guild and the agents are able to fight and get closer to the 50% going to the author, the profitability is actually not as high for a book publisher as it is with a hardcover book and probably not even with a paperback book. So the margins for the publishers are under siege and the entire industry is shaking and you do have layoffs and you do have you know, just a lot of anxiety. But for a new author, other than the author who has the fantasy that they're gonna walk into Simon & Schuster and get a $25,000 advance and be part of this industry, that, if that's your goal, that's probably not gonna happen. The counter side and the reason for optimism for new authors is you can go s directly to a, an ebook publisher or you can even do it yourself and your costs are under $1,000 for the technical side of it, maybe $2,000 if you wanna you know, hire someone to do a good cover. Now this is for an edited book, and this is where I think new authors need to be careful. You do need to work with a credible editor. There's no way you can edit your own book, and you do need to produce a fine manuscript before you worry about the marketing of it. But assuming you have worked those details out and you found a good source for editing, and there are many uh, freelance editors, people being laid off by the publishing companies, you can find a good editor. So if you have a good book, you could sell basically one quarter the number of ebooks and make as much money. So if you start looking at these new models, I think there's every reason for an author wanting to break into publishing to be optimistic.